What's up, YouTube? I'm Marcus. I'm Christian. And uh, we you tuned into the best marriage. We're marriage yeah, for we, dummies, baby. Yeah, normally <laughs> we do lives, but we're trying to start our, our reaction videos. Yeah. Uh, so we are a Christian marriage that does reaction videos yep. and also lives. So, yep. Um, but today we wanted to go ahead and um, we wanted to try to uh, react to this video. If I was the devil. Yes. Okay. And uh, it's it looks like it's by Prince E. Uh, I heard a couple of things about it, but I didn't really listen to it. Just okay. wanted to see, um, get fresh ears on it and see what we think of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I've, I haven't heard anything about this, anything. Yeah. So this is a, you know, what is it called? A genuine reaction. Yeah. I don't even know. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I don't have my glasses on. I'm wondering. That'll be okay. Yeah, let's watch it. If I was the devil, my first victim will be the kids. From the moment they left their mother's precious wombs and were born, I would condition them to see racial division as a norm. And I wouldn't stop till I've stripped their innocence, divide and conquer. Ooh. It's the oldest trick in the book of Genesis. And see, as they grew up, I would, I would continue my infiltration. For 12 years, I would steal their hearts and minds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was terrifying. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah. Minds from them and call and it the little thing. education. If I was the devil, my next victim would be women. I'd make old, out of touch men control women's bodies and rights. What better way to curse God than to disrespect the very bringers of life? Mm, nah, no. No. What? No. What I miss? Hold on. That is women? It's, nah, let's replay it. Let's okay, replay it. Because uh, if you caught something, let me see. Let's do it again. No. What did he just say? <laughs> this is not going where I thought. If I was the devil, my next victim will be women. I'd make old, out of touch men control women's bodies and rights. What better way to curse God than to disrespect the very bringers of life? Hold on. Is he saying it's okay to abort babies? Is that what he's trying to say? Hmm. It sounds like he's trying to say it's okay to abort babies. He's saying that men, it's like that's, older men, yeah, like, like or just like men in general, telling the women what they can and can't do with their body. Yeah, yeah just saying you can't have abortions. That's what it's talking about. Yeah. And, yeah. And which, yeah. I, Look, I, the thing is, is that as women, if you are a woman of God, that yeah. it's not correct. You know, and yeah. I, and this is something that is so controversial because yeah. and honestly, if I'm being straight up, is that I was on the other side. Yeah. I was like, yeah, it's OK. Yeah, do it. Yeah. You know, like it should be my choice. It should be. But the thing is, is that once you start understanding that it is God's plan, not yours, yeah. it is that lot. is when. <laughs> you understand that I've been thinking completely wrong, you know? And um, honestly, this is the real, is that it's for your benefit why God says that it's not okay. Yeah. You know? Because yeah. God's like, look, I'm trying to benefit you because in all honesty, most women that do abort, they they feel that. They, yeah. they you, you think about it. And that, that feeling that you get, like after you do it, that feeling it's because it's in our nature to feel wrong about doing so. That's yeah. why even people that are open to abortions, how many women do you know that have done one, but were very open about it? Like, Hey, I went and did this. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they're not going to be open and out about it, even though they're yeah. the same one saying that I'm, I'm of choice. Yeah. It's true. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Hey, I went and got an abortion today. Yeah. That's not uh, something that people that are pro-choice that say. You get it? Yeah. So the fact that we're even, uh, you know, pro-choicers don't even come out and, and say, hey, today we post everything on social media. Hey, today I went and aborted a baby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's just straight up. And yeah. You know then there's something in you that feels convicted. You know what I mean? So yeah, man. But, wow, I didn't even catch that. I thought he was saying. Um, I, I guess I skipped over that part and was thinking about how the devil would go for women next because we're 
second in the garden. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. we're closer to the fruit. I think <laughs> I think he I think that yeah, I, I thought it was just for the kingdom, but pretty much it seems yeah. like it's not for that. Uh oh. Let Let's see where he goes. But Uh-oh, yeah, yeah, he started well, off pretty let's good. But... Tune in, yeah. Let's see what Speaking of God, if I was the devil when it comes to religion, I put my plan together perfectly. I'd allow you to worship Jesus every Sunday. And on the other six days, I'd make you worship me. In the form of money, fame, lust, and greed to my religion, I wouldn't need to convert you. I turn the Ten Commandments to the Ten Suggestions. Mm. Oh, that's good. I like that. I like that. So I'm wondering, maybe did we miss that part, or is that a part that Uh, changing? Because so far he's on track, other than that thing. Yeah. So I'm wondering, is that just something that? You know, he, he it, wanted to change, or we misinterpreting yeah. it. I don't know, but that seems pretty straightforward. That a man's trying to control a woman's body, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's really. I just wanted to make sure yeah. that I wasn't. To make virtue signaling more important than virtue, I give you just enough religion to hate each other, but not enough to love each other. And for my final evil strategy, I'd make you forget the whole purpose of religion was spirituality. Mm-hmm. If I was the devil, I, I wouldn't come dressed in a red cape and pointy horns. I'd drive a Lambo, have a pretty face, and a Gucci belt on. Woo. Basically, I'd take the form of everything you ever wished for and watch you create your own hell. Mm-hmm. I don't need to torch the earth. And as far as politicians go, I'd change nothing. They're already doing my dirty work. If I was the devil low key, I'd be behind the scenes. You wouldn't have to see me. I would normalize this function and call it reality TV. And in this reality, I would attack your self-worth, making it hard to heal from. I'd show you images of fake bodies and make them more attractive than real ones. Wow. If I was the devil, I'd make you pray to technology and idolize those who create it. I'd make clout the number one drug and steal millions of lost souls as they chased it. Now, if I was the devil, I, I wouldn't do it all at once. I'd take my time instead. I'd eat away at your morals little by little, exactly how cancer spreads. Ooh. Speaking of cancer, if I was the devil, I'd feed you tasty food that makes you ill. Then I'd turn your doctors into drug dealers, selling you pills that keep you coming back instead of truly heal. Yeah, if Ooh. I was Lucifer, then I'd know life and death are in the tongue. So I'd make your knife and fork your executioner. So you can't achieve higher consciousness if your body is sick. You won't opt for positive information. But wait, but but wait. He's okay. You won't you won't receive higher higher consciousness if your body is sick. I I I, I don't. Okay. Go. Okay. <laughs> no. What were you gonna say? Because it, it doesn't seem like he's relating to the uh, the uh, the alpha and omega. It sounds like he is he's slightly because he took what you call it and said spirituality. He mm. said it was, it was just about spirituality and it's not about God. Instead of addressing God. Instead of addressing as, that it's about Jesus Christ dying on the cross for our sins and rising on the third day. Mm. Because the if you that the God of God, Alpha and Omega. Yeah, if you think it's just about spirituality, that means you are removing Christ from the some from it. And oh, I, and, okay. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. And what's wild though is that there's truth in here. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like this, I mean, I, I, there's a lot of truth in this, especially with the eating thing. Like what yeah. that, is, look y'all, every, it's all in our foods, everything like that. Um, and yeah, the thing is, is that there's a lot of truth in here, but yeah. by not addressing, so yeah. maybe, maybe we're assuming, so maybe he'll address them at the end. Let's see. Nation, <laughs> if you have inflammation, if I was Satan, my cleverness would be admired. Why do you think the word inflammation literally means to set on fire? If I was the devil, I'd show you how to really flex. I would release pandemics on the world to give people the chance to really care for each other and then sit back and laugh as they exploited and became scared of each other. Basically, if I was the devil, I'd keep doing what I'm doing. God is my witness. I already control your systems. Don't try to fight against this. Because for my last trick, I would make smart people like you doubt whether I ever existed. I love that. I'll give it to him. 
I give it to him. Yeah. I I, I appreciate it, but the only thing is, yeah. it still it still leads astray, mm -hmm. because because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, man. No man mm -hmm. comes to the Father by him. So in mentioning the devil, you need to mention the Savior. Yeah, that's great. It's you have to address the Savior yeah. and saying this all about spirituality means that that's that, all it's about. Yeah, because and this is the thing. This is what is so wild about this is that because of not addressing this of uh he because he addressed the uh, the religion part but then not clarifying what the truth is which is jesus because yeah. jesus is the way the truth and the life, life. and life right and the thing is is that okay and as believers which we're knowers now of jesus that we understand the religion part isn't correct either because it's a way of keeping us separated and bound into one particular box. But what the truth is, is that the most aligned with it is Christianity. Yeah. But we've, as uh, as religious spirits and as a society, that we have destroyed that um, religion. You know what I mean? To where now it's about a relationship with God and it always yeah. has been, you know? Um, so the fact that he addressed the religion part, yeah. but you gotta like like you said, you gotta address the yeah. savior. Yeah. Because all of that is pretty much correct, you know, yeah. other than the abortion thing. Yeah, See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and so the choice. A... And then you throw spirituality in there because spirituality is up in the air. You're kind of leaving yeah. it up. Spirituality is spirituality. That covers a lot of ground. Yeah. Spirituality yeah. does. Spirit There's a lot into you can be spiritual and be a Buddhist. Yeah. You can be spiritual and be into yoga and Hinduism and things like that. Yeah. And the thing is, is that, like you said, if you're going to mention the devil, mention the savior. Yeah. That's I a, like that a lot. That's yeah. real, babe. Um, my, from what I get from this whole thing, I say that he is on the right track. Yeah. I think that, um, cause, because I remember being the same way I had to realize the spirit, um, I had to realize the creation of spirituality to understand the creator. Yeah. I had to understand it. It, it was created mm -hmm. spirituality because at first it was like, eh, it, it, it's up in the air. Yeah. Then once you realize spirituality exists, then you realize that 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 that's mm -hmm. not to worship spirituality, to actually worship the creator of spirituality. Yes. And, and yeah. that's real. And then yeah, it, it, it because just, and that's the beauty of this is that, and this is the beauty of Jesus is that there is truth in there. But as knowers in a relationship with God, we understand that there is some truth in here. You're on the right track. That's uh, honestly, you're you're almost there. But then the issue is, is that we got to be clear. Yeah. Like there's no time to play games and to kind of beat around the bush, like and leave it up in the air and open. It's like, no, OK, address all those things and then be like, Jesus Christ is the way, yeah. the truth and the life. Put that at the end of the video. Yeah. Because now, because people, because they're like, okay, yeah, where do I go if, now? If you got ears. It's like spirituality, whatever spiritual, every mm -hmm. spiritual thing you want to go to, yes. is is okay, and that's mm -hmm. yeah, that that's leading people in the down. And ironically, in the video, it speaks on confusion, right? And mm -hmm. the devil is the author of confusion. confusion. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's all, it's all, uh, points to the in, the imperativeness of making sure to state the truth like yeah. what is clear yeah you know so yeah. he and you're he was so all of those things there's a lot of truth in there you know and and jesus is in that yeah. but then you, you gotta address jesus yeah. he's the truth <laughs> you know what i'm saying so yeah it was a great um start but uh, the thing is is that dang like all those people that are watching that and feel like oh yeah that makes sense mm -hmm. now what yeah kind of leaves it up in the air yeah. you know what i'm saying so i wonder if he has other things and i'd like to know like if like yeah. other Where videos is yeah, what, what is, is he, he yeah you know what i'm saying so i'd, I'd be curious to find that out but yeah and i'll say that we um you know what we will split this into two parts yeah we'll, we're gonna go and, check and research out him just to see real quick. <laughs> so y'all want to stay but, here yeah so yeah if you yeah i'm gonna just cut it Okay, perfect. Have, be part two if they oh, okay. It. We love y'all. Love you guys. We will cut it just for y'all. Yes. Like, subscribe, share. All right.
I see what you Comment. <laughs> Not wasting your life. Sorry, school for you lose your mind, overthink. Is it sharing right now, the screen? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so this is part two of our yeah. reaction, and I'm Christian. I'm Marcus. <laughs> and essentially, we just watched the video. Is a music video of um. Yeah, by this young if man. I was the devil, Mr. But, Prince Ed. Yeah, Prince Ed. Yeah. Eh? Oh. Yeah. oh you okay. Didn't, you didn't I can't that see that part. part. Embarrassing. Uh, I said Ed. Uh, but Will essentially, <laughs> but essentially, we just watched that video and then we went to go check his page out to see if he mentions Jesus. Yeah. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. Everyone was saying, man, it doesn't, it, it doesn't seem Say anything to, about Jesus. Uh, like he doesn't seem to. So, so, so the thing is, but like, I ain't knocking him, I'm just send up prayers mm -hmm. for him. He's, he's, he's uh, on the right path. He's on the right path. And yeah. look, this is the thing, y'all, is that if you're watching this and you agree with the majority of that video, you're on the right path. Yeah. Because we've been there too. <laughs> we, we went through that journey of spirituality and understanding that all of those things and yeah. feeling that and agreeing with it. And yeah, it, and it's wild that. There's truth in it. Now understand that that truth is Jesus and to keep seeking that truth. Yeah. And what's crazy about that is that if you genuinely in your heart of hearts keep seeking that truth, it will lead you straight to Jesus. Yeah. That's what happened to my husband. It led him straight to Jesus, yeah. <laughs> you know, because it's uh, he's the ultimate truth. Yeah, that's what you're going to you know? You, you go poking, that's what you're gonna find. That's why yeah. that's why it's very and, and then at this point, man, it's to the point where we say, How do you get salvation? Hey man, how did you get away from how did you how did you get away from your relationship with God? You you went against God. So yeah. now you follow the laws of God to get close to God. If yeah. you're wondering how um uh, but yeah, Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins and rose on the third day. And yeah. the only way to get through God is through him. Yeah. But the thing is, is I'm going to ex express that for the people who want to take a shortcut into it. Mm -hmm. But I had, I, I'm i hard headed, so I had to go the long way. So <laughs> I was. Uh, That's real. Yeah, I was hard headed. So I went the long way. Uh, and God had to show me that the Bible was correct. Yeah. And that. Uh, yeah. yeah. We'll probably give you more information. On that later, <laughs> but yeah. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm not. It, I'm not going to, I wasn't going to split it, but I ain't going to split it. I, yeah. I thought it would. Be, I yeah. was going to say one last thing to, 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 for those who watched it and, and again, agree with it spiritual, spiritually, and that you're on that path of spirituality. Yeah. Let me tell you this, John 1, 1, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Okay. So <laughs> essentially when it says in the Bible, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. That is words from God. Yeah. <laughs> the word is God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that statement in itself is why he can make such a statement that I am the truth. Mm -hmm. And truth can be in all things. Yeah. Because he's He's God. He, he's a spirit. If you, if you want to view it that way, it's spiritual. Mm -hmm. You know? So understanding that keep seeking truth and that'll lead you to God because in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God John 1 1 so yeah just keep seeking truth and yeah I, I will be praying for you guys and we love you so much <laughs> yes I hope you enjoyed this video like subscribe comment another video that you want us to react to if you want us to react to something this is new for us so we're just kind of putting them out there kind of raw <laughs> as we learn how to do this. So I hope you enjoy it. And we love you to death, guys. And God bless you. Yeah, peace and blessings. <laughs>